that's Candela Alonzo Corsellis who will get us started. And we're underway from Bloomington as this one goes over. Baton Horse takes it, set up by Tuanea, and it finds the floor. And USC takes the first point of the game. So for this USC team, they're very physical at the net. They love to go up and get the ball. They average about three blocks per set. So they apply a lot of pressure at the net. Look for that this afternoon. Tuaninga top spin serve over pass from Alonzo Corsellis gets slammed onto the ground by Tyra Ariel, the redshirt junior out of Plano, Texas. So USC out to a two nothing early lead in this first set. And Nia Tuaninga at the service line again. Steps up, spins it high in the air, and whacks it over the net. That one's out, service error, and a side out for IU. IU with a big opportunity here in this first set. They just lost to Purdue, a fantastic team. Now you're trying to fight above 500. You're at that mark where you could spill at 500, but if you win this game, you stay confident, you stay on the wrong, on the right side of things. Here's Maddie Sell for the first service attempt of the day for Indiana. Baton horse on the far pin, dug out by Alonzo Corsellis. Hayworth to Tatum and it finds the floor. Indiana with their first point of the day. It's 2-1 in the first set in favor of the Trojans. I've been really impressed with Avery Tatum this season. She's improved year by year and she's second on this team in kills now. Sell at the service line again. 2-2. Two -two. And Baton Horse digs this one out. Set. And a slam stuffed at the net. It's kept up by USC. Overpass goes over. Dug out Tatum. Here's Hayworth over far side. Dennis finds the floor. And Indiana takes the lead. It's 3-2 early in the first set. Indiana could have had that point a couple of volleys before, but USC so athletic at the net. Going down for the limbo to dig it up. Really impressive stuff early on. Decent showing of crowd of, of a crowd here. Sell serve. Dug out quickly by Trubit. Tapped over and finds the middle of Indiana's floor. Side out for USC and Adanya Fomwina will check into the game in place of Gray Gosnell. And at the service line for USC is Ali Batenhorst who transferred out of Nebraska last year. Played four years with the Cornhuskers. Fires it over the net. Dug out by Geddes. Hayworth the set to Tatum on the opposite hitter. A beautiful diving dig by Trubit. Fired over and a kill for USC. Tyra Ariel came flying in near that four yard line and delivered a strike. Impressive stuff. Well, Ariel, who's dealt with injuries throughout her whole career, missed the 2021 non-conference schedule, then got hurt for the remainder of 2021 and missed all of 2022. Here's Geddes, taps it over, dug out by Famwina. Over, that one clears the line and it's out. An attacking error on the Trojans. And Avery Tatum will be at the service line, 4-4. Both teams knotted up early in this one. Indiana 12 and 11, 5 and 8 in the Big Ten. They drop to number 9 Purdue, 0 and 6 first ranked teams. Overpass, Vickers tries to put it on the floor. Batenhorst has to get it over, she can't do it. And a point for the Hoosiers. And Andrew, you got to feel like as you get later and later into the regular season, you're still, still searching for that first top 25 win. And at home, against the USC team coming off a loss. This is a great opportunity. Tatum starts us off, dug out by Gala Trubit. And beautiful dig by Gary on a quick firing strike from USC. Another dig by Baylor. Two inning, a back row attack from Baton Horse and it finds the floor. As it got tipped at the net, but still found Indiana's side of the court. And at the service line now is Tyra Ariel. 5-5 five, five in this first set. Indiana student section getting into it already. Ariel jump serve, dug out Geddes. Overpass, back to Geddes again. Finds Hayworth, back row attack. Alonzo Corsellis, that one's out. And she couldn't shift the block. Point for USC. 
It's been very back and forth so far. Neither team really with a true advantage quite yet. Just getting settled in, finding their rhythm. Ariel, who's got two kills in this game, is at the service line. Jump serve over the net. That one's way out into Indiana's bench. And a side out tied up again at 6-6. The second service error for USC early into this first set. Not the best sign discipline-wise. So one of the more dangerous servers on this team, Delaney Maple, who also has ties to USC, played four years at the USC Beach Volleyball Program, a four-time national champion, two times as a team captain, fires this one over the net, dug out quickly by Trubin over the floor, or over the net, I should say, and a point for the Southern California Trojans. This is USC's attackers just have so much force and velocity, and they get that arm swinging down the other side. Ramsey Gary couldn't keep up. Here's the true freshman, Jaden Livings, that one is another service error for Southern California, and it flips back 7-7 seven, seven still. And the Hoosiers will have the serve. Ramsey Gary at the line, the libero who's the first libero since 2019 who started as a freshman. She is a sophomore this year, but had an, a heck of a year, broke the single season digs record. And a, and a service ace for Ramsey Gary, not something you see too often, but Living's had some trouble with it on the USC side of thing, and anybody who guessed Gary to have the first ace of the game for the Hoosiers, probably not many, but hey, Just an, ace a, is, an ace is an ace. Her seventh ace of the year. And that one's well dug out by Living's. Front pin attack and an overpass to an end of the set. And Hayworth couldn't keep it up in the air as it's a kill for Leah Ford. As Gosnell will check back into the game in favor of, or in place of Adanya Fomwina, and Gosnell the one to serve. Eight eight is the score. Neither team able to get something started. That one's dug by Maple, set from Hayworth, tapped over by Alonzo Corcellas. Tuaninga set, back row attack, and it finds the floor. Jaden Livings, a back row attack hit. She had 16 kills in the loss at Illinois on 39 swings. Jaden Livings, career high, 22.5 points in that five set loss to Illinois. Here's Goss now, jump serve. Maple the dig. Out of system attack from Hayworth, results in an overpass. Set, Hayworth, Alonzo Corcellas. And it got blocked, but it didn't go back over the net. So a kill for Candelo Alonzo Corcellas. And that's going to be huge for the rest of these sets. Candelo Alonzo Corcellas meeting USC at the net, being the aggressor against a really tough USC front line. Here's Hayworth. That one goes over the net, and it's a service ace for Cameron Hayworth, who's the all-time leader at Indiana in aces with 203. That's her 203rd, and she'll be back at the service line. The all-time leader, a prolific server. Top spin serve over the net, barely dug out by Trubent. Back row attack finds the floor. Livings again, the 6'1 true freshman out of Dallas. Comes from an athletic family. Her dad played offensive guard for the Bengals and Cowboys, and her well, how aunt about Isabel Harrison is a current player for the Chicago Sky in the WNBA. Oh, how about that? A couple yeah. of athletes in that family, eh? Serve from the libero Trubin. Hayworth the set. Alonzo Corcellas gets stuffed at the net, but Maple keeps it up. Back to Corcellas, the far side pin. Diving dig, Batenhorst. Tuaninga tries to play this one out of system. Maple gets it. Hayworth to Sell, and Sell can't get it over the net cleanly. An attacking error for Maddie Sell. And it's 11-10 in favor of the women of Troy. Maddie Sell trying to go for just a nice soft little glide shot, tap over the net. Did not execute it. And it gives a narrow lead to USC. Gala Trubin at the service line, fires it over, and it's into the net. Doesn't even get over the net. Service error and side out for IU. 11-11, the score in the first set. Well, if you're IU, you'll take that all you can get. Three unforced errors.
that goes into IU's favor. So he's rotated all the way back around when it comes to servers. Alonzo Corsellis at the line. Throws it up in the air, taps it over, dug out by Goss now. Back row attack, good dig by Hayworth. Pass to the middle, here's a back row attack, stuffed at the net, Hayden keeps it over, and Trubit, and it's finally shoved down to the floor by Mia Tuaninga, her first kill of the game. Tuaninga, 50 assists against Illinois, six service aces. And 50 she assists is a, key is a ridiculous play. clip. 50 assists is insane. And she's at the service line. Such a fast serve. Overpass kill from Baton Horse. You might as well call that a service ace. That serve had so much power. Indiana barely able to return it over. And it was right into the hands of USC. They were able to put that down. An easy point for the Trojans. Tuaninga, who had six aces against Illinois, only three errors. Fires this one over. That one is over the baseline and out. And her first service error of the day. Again, these two teams neck and neck. 13-12 in favor of USC with Maddie Saddle at the service line. And some substitutions as Sell is going to take a seat in favor of the serving specialist Kenzie Daphne, who hails from Westfield, Indiana, has a really only to be described as scary topspin jump serve. We'll see it here. And usually she's good for a couple of service aces a, a game. Throws it high up into the air. Dog out, overpass, tapped to the floor. Geddes can't keep it up. Batenhorst tapped Tatum. Hayworth, forward set. Geddes slams it home. Tie game in the first set. It's 13-13. As Daphne will be at the line again to serve for the Hoosiers. Daphne's service is into the center of the net and an error for Kenzie Daphne as USC will take over serving the volleyball. Here's the first service error of the game for Indiana. A team that's kind of struggled with service errors throughout the year as Indiana. Batenhorst fires this one over, barely kept up by Calonzo Corsellas. Vickers the slam, and it's dug out by Batenhorst. Quick pick, set from Hayworth, back set Tatum. Fires it over, dug out by Livings. Back row attack, and Batenhorst fires it home. Hayworth can't control it. On the day, and a point for the Trojans. That's a timeout called. Immediate timeout, 15-13, Charlie. We'll keep it here, minute and a half on the clock. What have you seen, what have you liked from USC thus far? USC, they've been very aggressive. When they go for a kill, they give it everything they've got. I mean, Jaden Livings, when she comes out of that back row as an outside hitter, she is soaring up on the net. Indiana has not really had the greatest response for Jaden Livings. When you look at Bettenhorst as well, Allie Bettenhorst, 6'5", a transfer from Nebraska. Grad student, she has experience. It's her that makes it so difficult for this Indiana defense. And Ramsey Gary, Cameron Hayworth, they're going to have their hands full with the explosiveness from USC's offense. And we've already seen a flash of it. Yeah, Batenhorst with five kills on seven total swings. So efficient thus far and has dug the ball out three times. And USC doesn't really rotate in as many players as IU does. And it's interesting to see Steve Aird likes to come out with some interesting sets if something doesn't go the way he wants in the first half. That's what he did against Purdue. And they won the second set against Purdue on Friday night, but couldn't get it done at the end of the day. I just think it's so important to win that first set. Obviously, you have to win more after that. But if you really set the tone, especially against a ranked team, it gives yourself that extra, that level of confidence, that level of determination that, hey, if we win this first set 1-0, this is ours to lose the rest of the way. But if you go down 1-0 already against a ranked opponent, it makes it that much tougher. So it's, can you win that first set? Can you set the tone and make them play your style of volleyball? Well, USC in their five set loss to Illinois, they lost the first set 
and then won the next two, and then three and four, or four and five rather, didn't go their way. Back underway, 15-13 in favor of USC. Geddes is blocked at the net, still kept up. Slapped over, and Tatum can't get a hand on it, and Vickers, Vickers and Tatum tried to combine for the block at the net on the near side, but it, I fall, mean, it fell down anyway. When Jaden Living's and Tyra Ariel are right there, finding that as the middle blockers, it puts a lot of pressure on Indiana's offense, makes it a lot tougher. Here's Baton Horse at the service line, fires it over, dug out Geddes. Hayworth set, fires to Geddes, that one's long. And a point for the Trojans, 17-13 now. It's a 4-0 scoring and run for the Trojans. Out. Yeah, Steve Ayer wants to call timeout, and we'll take a quick break with him. You're watching Indiana versus USC on Big Ten Plus. Back here on Big Ten Plus, midway through the first set of this Sunday afternoon matchup between USC and Indiana. 17-13 is the lead in favor of the Southern California Trojans. Andrew Hill's been here with Charlie Harris to bring you the action from Wilkinson Hall. And Ali Batenhorst at the service line for USC. And that one goes long for a point for the Hoosiers. And that student section making a small impact maybe on that serve, bringing some energy. Well, that's something that the players have stressed all year, how much of an advantage the Crimson Chaos student section, as they're called, gives them on game days. It's Tatum's serve dug out to an end of a set. That one's flipped over the net, barely kept up by Tatum. Geddes, that one's out. Well, it's funny because during COVID, Indiana as a program struggled. And then my freshman year, so I'm a junior now, so two years ago, you could really sense this program starting to turn things around. They went 16 and 16, had a much better year. Last year, 21 and 12. So this program getting better and better year after year. And they could go above 500 once again. Service from the USC. Hayworth the set, far side sell. And that one is still kept up by USC. Thrown over the net by Fonwina. Hayworth set, back set, Vickers hits it. Good dig by Batenhorst, and now it's gonna be a free ball over the other side. Gary to Hayworth, over far side. Sell, or Saris, excuse me, finds the floor. And Maddie Saris with her first kill of the game. And it's very important to get Maddie Saris going. She is a big playmaker for Indiana. On that last play though, Ali Batenhorst out of position, opened up some space, and Sarah's found it. Three-point deficit. Maple back to the service line for the Hoosiers. 18-15, the deficit. Good dig by Trubin. Far side attack that goes way out. And it didn't look like Living's got the handle on that, uh, that swing that she wanted to as it sailed way out of bounds. Maple with a two-point deficit at the service line. And Shade Ilawole is on the court for Indiana as well. Maple fires it over. Doug from Dubit. And Vickers jumps it over on the other pass and fires it straight to the ground. 
That one fell right into Vickers' lap, able to just send it pretty vertical down straight into the, the hardwood. Indiana's aggressiveness starting to ramp back up after the timeout. Perfect time to go on a run. 3-0 scoring run with Maple at the service line. Fires it over, a good dig by Trubin. Set from tuning, a back row attack. Good dig by Ewa Woolway. Hayworth the set, far side, Alonzo Corsellis, and it finds the floor. Tie game, it's 18-18 here in the first set. And that was made possible by Shade Ilawale, the freshman, the true freshman. That's Allie Battenhorst trying to send that her way, and she was there, and she was able to save that point for Indiana. Well, another timeout, and this time it's going to be USC's timeout. In Indiana, a 4-0 scoring run. They've swung it completely in their favor, and the home crowd is helping them out. Yeah, they have. After that second timeout, USC had 13 kills, Indiana just six. So you look at just the pure aggressiveness, the offensive balance between both teams. USC was dominating in that category, and then Indiana started to build some momentum, get things going a little bit. And then a 4-0 run ties this thing back up. After this timeout, it's gonna be one last stretch of the first set. They've been battling back and forth this whole way, but that last stretch after this timeout, we'll see what happens. Well, the, the biggest thing I think is important to note is how, how well Indiana's done so far at getting around the block of USC. USC, a very good blocking team, top five in the country in blocks per set. And they, neither team has recorded a block thus far today. I mean, the kills are, of course, in favor of the Trojans, but it's a tie game regardless. Yeah, you know that was definitely a part of the scouting report for Steve Aird and this Indiana team was USC loves to be physical at the net. That's what they make a living off of. That's how they win in the Big Ten is being physical and meeting them at the net. So Indiana going to have to be a little nifty, try to hit some different shots over the glide shots, little softer touches, maybe find the ball in different areas on the court to give USC weirder looks. It's going to have to be an all-around effort for Indiana. Out of the timeout, Maple will serve again. She takes her time getting ready on the baseline. And we're back underway. Tuning in the set far side and a good kill by Jaden Livings. 19-18 and the streak gets broken as Livings will serve. And excuse me, Livings will take a seat as it's going to be Megan Verbeese to this day's a special one. It's Megan Verbeese's birthday today. How about that happy birthday? I know she's going to want to win. Yeah, she'll be at the line. It was Maddie Saris' birthday yesterday for IU. Wow. Verbeek sends this one over in a service error as it's 1919. Yeah, and it's, it's my birthday tomorrow. No, it's not. No, well. That'd be cool. There you go. Tie game in this first set is Ramsey Gary at the service line for the Hoosiers. Every serve matters now late in this first set. Cannot afford a service error. And Gary puts this one into the net. Two service errors in a row for both of these teams as Goss now will check in for Adanya Famwina. Great Goss now back serving for USC. This means more for her. She played four years here, helps kind of rebuild this program to be what it is today, and she has a chance to beat them. Here's Goss now at the line. One point lead for the Trojans. Thrown over, Maple digs it. Hayworth the set, far side pin. Alonzo Corsellis tapped it over, kept away. Here's Peaches stuffed at the net. And a point for USC as the block went out of bounds. Good attempt from Indiana. They did a good job being physical at the net, going up for it, not shying away, just unfortunate. And it gives uh, USC a two point lead. A huge serve upcoming. Well, there's a discussion. I, I think that they, they gave this point to IU. Oh, but they did. They... Head coach Brad Keller is going to challenge this one as he thinks it went out. Or maybe he's, he's challenging for, for something. He's clearly not pleased with however this went. We don't have replay today, so what you see is what we see. And from over here, I think there was a little bit of maybe 
maybe some, some, some discord between the officials. I think one official called it for USC. I think the other called it for IU. Yeah, it was on the far side, kind of a blind view from here from the actual action. But this is an important play because a point to IU ties this thing up at 20. It's anyone's game, it's their serve. If it goes to USC, the Trojans are up to and they have the serve. And that really could be the difference in momentum of this first set, is this call right here. Well, it might take him a while to review it, but we'll keep it here. And Indiana has, looking for it. obviously it's still the first set, but both of these teams have some touch, tough matchups coming up, and Indiana goes to Iowa. USC is going to host number seven, Wisconsin, at least number seven as of right now. They might rise or fall in the rankings as the new rankings, I believe, come out tomorrow from the ABCA. But USC at 20, and Indiana has really played a, a gauntlet of ranked teams in the past couple weeks. The, at home, they lost to Penn State. They lost to Wisconsin. Neither of those bad losses. The RPI for Indiana still looking really good. Yeah, Indiana, it's just so tough. I can't stress enough how tough this Big Ten conference is. I mean, USC, right now, they are seventh in the Big Ten, which from a naked eye seems like, and eh, they're kind of middle of the pack. They're not that great, right? But they're 20th in the nation. So for Indiana to be 0-6 against Man. ranked teams, it's the season tough. is in, yeah. They're going to give USC that point, so okay. Brad Keller's challenge is successful. And Gosnell will serve. So 21-19 in favor of the South Ca Southern California Trojans. As Madison Peach is credited with the kill on that last point. And back underway after the challenge. Gosnell fires it over, long side, tapped over by Alonzo Corcellis, and it finds the floor. Side out for the Hoosiers, and Cam Hayworth is going to be at the line for Indiana. Alonzo Corcellis, everyone on USC expected her to just tap that right on the other side, but no, she did a glide shot over on the far end near the back line. Very good play to save a point for Indiana and chance to tie it now. Now their best server at the line. Here's Hayworth. Good pancake dig. Bait and horse, narrow tapped over, diving dig by Hayworth. Tatum, the attack. Dug out Gosnell, overpass. Slapped down by Sell, kept up by Trubin. Set from Tuanenga, Bait and horse slaps it down. And Allie Bait and horse credited with her sixth kill of the game. And Bait and horse on this near side. She stands at 6'5", so she's able to kind of make a, a shot with a different angle than most people can, can get used to at that 6'5 height. Here's Gallo Trubin. <laughs> uh, libero for USC. Hayworth, far side set. Alonzo Corcellus, overpass. Hayworth, back to Corse Alonzo Corcellus. It finds the floor. 22-21 in favor of USC. Almost a really imp impressive block. But Alonso Corcell is starting to get rolling. He's got three kills, one dig. Well, Alonso Corcell is the program's first ever Spanish player. He's at the line right now. She had never been to the United States before committing to Indiana. How about that? Gets it over cleanly to Aninga. Out of system and she gets a kill. That one fooled me. Fooled everybody on Indiana as well as when a setter decides to play out of system, Havoc kind of breaks loose and it's 23-21. As I believe Indiana calls timeout. Let's see exactly who called timeout. Nevertheless, there's a break on the floor. Yeah, Steve Derrick calls timeout and we're gonna take a break with him. You're watching Indiana versus USC, Big Ten Volleyball here on Big Ten Plus.
coming out of the timeout. USC two points away from taking the first set here in Bloomington. And Indiana trying to claw their way back. Mia Tuning uh, had the most recent kill before Steve there decided to call timeout, and USC will serve. Let's see who they put at the line. Looks like it will be Tuning, the most dangerous server on USC's team. Hails from Long Beach, California, the senior setter. Transferred from Long Beach State a couple of years ago, as that one's out. Sign out for the Hoosiers. And that's big as Indiana can get one of their better servers at the line. We'll see who goes to the line to serve. Yeah, Indiana catching a break there. And they're going to get Kenzie Daphne in to serve, which is huge. As their serve specialist will be on the floor for as long as this serve allows, trying to get the Hoosiers back in this one and ahead in this first set. 23-22 in favor of Southern California. As Daphne will fire it over. Great serve, Batenhorst to dig. Back set for Batenhorst, tapped over. And Daphne can't tally a diving dig as there's a kill for Ali Batenhorst. Batenhorst, so efficient, man. 600 hitting percentage, that's her seventh kill. She's got six digs, a national champion. She is just an all-around fantastic player. Set point for USC, it's 24-22, and Ali Batenhorst is at the service line. How about that student section, though? Definitely making an impact, getting to keep the energy up. Over, and that one goes out 24-23. As Tatum will be at the line for the Hoosiers. And this set going down to the wire could be a sign of things to come later in this match. It's a lot of, that's eight service errors in this first set for USC. Tatum the serve, that one barely gets over. Diving dig from Trubent, tapped over. Tatum keeps it up. Hayworth the set, back row attack. Alonzo Corsellis, it goes out. 24 all and we'll go to overtime in this set. Both teams, it's win by two now at this point and a timeout for Southern California, wow. This thing getting spicy, Andrew. It's and it's really, the, first set. the story of that, of that first set, of this first set, really. It's been the service errors. It's kept Indiana in the game. Nine service errors for USC. If they cut that in half, they've won this set already. But it's been the undisciplined actions, the unforced errors that have kept Indiana alive. And for Indiana as a, as a group, as one unit, it's situations like this that they found themselves in a lot this year. They're in a close set against a ranked opponent. They played a lot of ranked teams, and for the most part, they just haven't been able to get over the hump. But in almost every one of those matches, they're in the game, they're competing, they're not making it easy. They've done that all season, and we're seeing that right here once again. Can Indiana get over the hump? Something they haven't been able to do this year, 0-6 against ranked opponents. Granted, it's not easy, but can they, is this the opportunity? Is this a situation where they get it done, Andrew? Well, these, it's, it's tough to say, as this can go for really as long as, it, as long as it needs to. These two teams have not played each other since 2010, obviously, yep. with USC and three other West Coast teams joining the conference this year. This matchup was first contested on, in the volleyball realm of things in 1987 when IU won 3-2. Then in 88, USC beat IU 3-1. And 2010, it was the first Sweet 16 appearance for the Hoosiers when they got swept in straight sets. That was one of the greatest players in IU Volleyball's history. Ash, or that was Ashley Benson's last game as a Hoosier. And that was the most recent tournament appearance for Indiana. Tatum, that one goes out. And it's set point again for, for USC. Absolutely crucial. Crucial. As Tatum will take a seat. Shot at Elo Wole comes back in as well. The true freshman who has been a plug and play piece for Steve Ayer. At the line is Tyra Ariel. And here's set point. Gary barely able to keep that one up. Saris taps it over with the left hand. Attack, and it's on the floor. USC takes the first set. 1-0 for the women of Troy. 
match, but but still RPI, a, a good standing for Indiana. Yeah, Indiana against unranked teams. We'll get to the action against unranked teams. They're 12 and four. Someone's kept alive, and Indiana can't touch it again as they'll let it fall to the floor. First point of the second set goes to the Trojans. As for USC and Brad Keller, this, this organization went to the second round the last two seasons in the NCAA tournament trying to get to the Sweet 16 this year. Here's Mia Tuaninga. There's a set. Alonzo Corcellus can't keep it in play as two points in a row for the Trojans. It's 2 nothing in the, in the second set. As the senior from Long Beach is back at the line. Has the highest throw out of anybody I've ever seen. <laughs> Fire off a jump serve. That one's set for Vickers, and she finds the floor as Trubin could it, couldn't dig it out for USC. Side out, and a point for Indiana as Ramsey Gary will be the server. And Steve Aird at the beginning of the season, you know, he wants his group to play against Texas and play at these hostile environments. This is what makes you better as a group. And I think it's a great idea. And they will set good dig by Ilo Ola. Far side, Batenhorst, net violation by Batenhorst and a point for IU. How about Sade Ilo man? That was a, a freshman. She, her reaction time is so quick, and we've seen that a couple times already today. Here's Ramsey Gary. Baiting horse an easy dig. Middle side set to Inenga. Far side for Livings. And a net violation called on the Hoosiers. And Allie Baiton horse will become the server. There's no doubt Allie Baiton horse is the number one playmaker for this group. Indiana gonna have to contain her set by set. Set for Alonzo Corcellus in the kill. A big swing on the left side pin from the Spaniard and it's three all here in the second set as Hayworth is at the service line for IU. Already has an ace in this game. USC just one block thus far. Here's Hayworth and a rare service error from Cam Hayworth. Had two, excuse me, had two set errors against Purdue. Has over 810 assists on the year at the setter position, does Unreal. Hayworth. Here's a serve from Ariel. Tapped over to Aninga Rikarals. To the middle, fired to the floor by Adanya Famwina. Famwina against Illinois in that five set loss on Friday. She had 13 kills, put up five digs and three blocks. She was pretty efficient and she's starting to get going here today. Hayworth set on the slide, Tatum, and a kill for Avery Tatum as Batenhorst couldn't keep it alive. Avery Tatum's second kill of the afternoon. She swings it with a lot of power. She has so much power on that swing. Can barely see it through the air from up here. Couldn't, can't even imagine what it's like on the floor. Alonzo Corcellus, dog out by Trubin. Diving dig from Gary, set, far side, Tatum, spike, kept up by Trubent again. Far side, tap down, still alive, has to go over as Saris keeps it up. Blocked at the net, and the Hoosiers win the point. Maddie yes. Sell and Maddie Saris combined for the block as it's 5-5 in the second set. That's Indiana's first block of the afternoon, and as you can see the reaction of the home crowd loves it. That's why blocks can be so important. You think you're about to have a chance to score, boom, it's blocked at the net. Alonzo Corcellus, the serve goes long. And the Trojans have a one point lead. And now serving is Jaden Li Livings. 
It's kind of how this first set went back and forth, back yep. and forth until kind of a tipping point late in that first set. We'll see how this progresses. Living's is serve. Tapped by Alonzo Corcellis. Good block, but it's kept up Gary. Middle set for Sell, and she fires it home. And for a USC team that's top five in the country and blocks per set, Indiana bypassing that pretty amazingly so far. A lot of pressure, a lot of aggressiveness at the net from Indiana. As Maddie Sell takes a seat on the bench and is replaced by Kenzie Daphne for the serve. Over, and that one barely out. Kenzie Daphne now, two service errors. Uncharacteristic for her, for sure. She's one of, the, one of seven players from the state of Indiana on this Hoosier squad, one of the team captains as well. As here's Gray Goss now at the service line. And fired over, Saris. Back row attack, Maddie Saris. Touched at the net, that one goes out. And a point for IU. Seven, seven in the second set as USC is ahead. In sets, they took the first one. Overpass and Saris the kill. And Indiana finding their rhythm. They've now taken the lead, eight to seven. Saris, the 20th member of the 1,000 kill club here at IU. It's Tatum served with a one-point lead. Batenhorst, the dig. Back set, still in, kept up by Saris. Hayworth for Alonzo Corcellus. Two inning, a set, and it's fired to the floor by Leah Ford. And tied up at eight again. This set, these, both these sets just going back and forth, but something that's plagued Indiana all year, just not able to finish in those 20-point yeah. to 20-point scenarios late in sets. They do a great job of competing the whole way through, but when it's time to win this set, it's tough to get over the hump. Hayworth plays out a system and finds herself a kill as it's 9-8 Hoosiers. And I love when Cameron Hayworth plays out of system like you mentioned. She goes for kind of a sneak attack and her left hand is dangerous. And she has a lot of power behind that swing and it catches the defense by surprise pretty much every single time. Here's Delaney Maple, the graduate. Former beach volleyball player at USC. The dig from Gosnell, far side. Baton Horse can't get it over the net. And it's 10 to 8 in favor of Indiana. Baton Horse wasn't in the right spot to jump for that and had to reach out with the left hand, but didn't find what she wanted. As right, so here's Maple again. Gosnell the dig. Batenhorst, another overpass. Gary couldn't keep it alive for Indiana as Batenhorst, two big swings, and the second finally leads to a kill. Yeah, Batenhorst, you let her get going, you let her get some back-to-back -back swings, and yeah, she'll find one on the hardwood real quick. And she's got seven kills. Here's Mia Tuninga. Her serve is in, a service ace. For me, a two The first service ace for the Trojans this afternoon. Indiana has two in this match, and like you said, the first one. USC 24 kills in this game, hitting at a 426 clip. As here's two inning at the line again. Dug out by Alonso Corcellas. Perfect set for Hayworth. It finds the floor. Gosnell couldn't keep it up. They back, backwards pass over Hayworth's head. Finds Alonso Corcellas on the near side, and she slots it home. Indiana, a narrow 11-10 lead. It's going to be a full effort. Ramsey Gary at the service line. Float serve for Batenhorst. Set to an angle. Over to Batenhorst. She slaps it down. A whistle and a net violation. Called on Allie Batenhorst. 
As Mia Tuininga goes over to ask about the call, and nevertheless, it'll be a point for IU 12-10 for the Hoosiers. And it's this stretch in the middle. If they can find like a 3-0 run, kind of build some momentum and take full charge of this set. Gary the serve. That's Baton what they're looking for. Far side, Batenhorst comes near side now. Hayworth plays it out of system and finds the back of the floor for IU. A three-point lead for the home team, the Hoosiers. 13 to 10. And that's been a couple times we've seen IU try to go for that back line, a little misdirection. And that's worked twice. Manufacturing a point. Gary again. Batenhorst to dig, has to be kept up. Stuffed at the net. Maddie sell the block. And four straight points for the Hoosiers. It's 14-10. Jaden Living's not a whole lot of effort. I'm not sure her intentions, but just kind of wafted it right into the hands of the outside hitters of Indiana. Well, it wasn't in a position for her to get a good swing on it at all. As here's Ariel. Back to Ariel, and that one's tipped away. Sell tried to block it down, but... Ariel chipped the block, and it's a point for USC. They break the scoring run for the Hoosiers. 14-11 in favor of Indiana. Baton Horse at the service line from the near side. Knocks it over, Maple the dig. Hayworth for Alonzo Corsellis. Splits the difference between Baton Horse and Trubin. And we head to the media timeout. 15-11 in favor of the Hoosiers here in the second set. Indiana versus USC, the fourth time that this matchup's ever been played here on Big Ten Plus. We'll be right back in a minute and a half. of the media timeout, 15-11 in favor of Indiana. And, and in the second set is the Hoosiers trail one set to none. Andrew Hilsman here with Charlie Harris, happy to bring you the action here on Big Ten Plus. And out of the media timeout, it's Cam Hayworth at the service line. I love the way Indiana has responded in the second set. They realize they dropped set number one in a close one, 26-24. The energy has picked back up for sure. Worth a service ace, wow. USC didn't think it was in and it had enough top spin. It fell down to the floor. And Cam Hayworth with her second ace of the day. And Hayworth is literally the perfect player to have serving out of a, of a timeout break. Five point lead for IU, another serve. Another ace for Cam Hayworth. Two in a row for the senior from Fishers. And a timeout called by USC. Six point lead at 17-11. And Wilkinson Hall is rocking. Wilkinson Hall on their feet. And Cameron Hayworth, she's so dynamic as a player. Like we mentioned, leading this program and service aces with now 205 in her career. She really is just an energy maker, a difference maker for Indiana. And we see it there once again, back-to-back -back service aces, forcing a timeout, giving Indiana a six-point lead. Now, the question is, can Indiana finish the job? Can they continue the pace they're playing at? 
and the pressure they're putting on USC the remainder of this set of the second set. That's the question. Well, Hayworth being at the line, you got to imagine definitely helps them in that regard. And they're on a three nothing scoring run, but. USC and, and Brad Keller, an experienced head coach, is a 79 and 54 overall record at USC. I mean, I was talking to, to Keller earlier today during their practice in the morning, and he's just like, you know, we just got to figure out a way to win a game. He wasn't really pleased with dropping the game at Illinois. They got upset in that one, but you know, he said he said the travel's not at and not at all bad. That was a lot. That was something that. Was well, a big concern for a lot of fans of teams, or how are these athletes going to adjust to the travel? But USC, a team that's that charters their flights straight from LA, so they're able to come in and win without too much that disruption was, to their schedule. That was a big question well, during the conference realignment talks: was how are teams going to handle travel? And so far, it has not been a huge it concern. Hasn't. Hayworth out of media timeout. That one's kept up and it goes out of bounds again. An ace for Cam Hayworth. Make it three in a row. What an effort from Cam Hayworth. And Wilkinson Hall is on their feet. There really has just been no response for Cameron Hayworth. 18-11 the score in favor of the Hoosiers. Hayworth again fires it. That one's finally kept alive. Far side and... Jaden Livings puts an end to the run for IU. Jaden Livings kind of stopping the momentum. Still a six point lead and we were wondering if Indiana could find that spark and they sure have. And still only one block for this USC team who has been quite good at that thus far this year. Maple passes outside Corcellus. And he's still kept alive, tapped away, and down for Matty Sell. An overpass from USC, they couldn't control it. Off of the swing from Alonzo Corcellus, and it's a point for IU, it's 19-12. Seven point lead for the Hoosiers, with Alonzo Corcellus at the line. We're starting to get closer and closer to that magic number of 25. That'd be big to tie this at one apiece. And over the line, a kneeling dig. Far side, back side, Batenhorst finds the floor. Got close to the baseline, but Batenhorst fired at home and a point for USC. Six point deficit for them, it's 19-13. A six point deficit, still a long ways to overcome. Here's the serve from Jaden Livings. Kept alive by Corcellus. Hayworth, the set, Tatum the spike. But it's out. USC, Tatum put a lot of power on it, but couldn't keep it in bounds as a point for USC as Livings goes back to the line. That one just missed the sideline. Gary, back set, Hayworth, Tatum, barely kept alive by the fingertips of Trubin. Far side, stuffed at the net, and a block by Matty Sell. Fomlina trying to get a big swing on the far left side pin, but Sell just rejected her straight at the net. And Indiana has a blocks advantage over USC. Three total blocks for IU, one for USC. Here's Matty Sell to serve. Gets it over. Stuffed again. Tatum and Vickers combined for the block. It's 22-14. This set really has been all Indiana. 21, excuse me. So a seven point lead for the Nutris. Matty Sell, again at the line, gets it over. Going out by Livings, back set. Batenhorst fires it home. And Alonzo Corcellus, the reception error, a point for USC. Six point lead for the Hoosiers. It's kind of been a six point lead the middle part into the late part of this second set. Indiana just holding that lead right at six. Here's the former Hoosier, Gray Gosnell to serve. Graduate student who hails from Charleston, South Carolina. Alonzo Corsellis to dig for Saris. And a kill for the Canadian. 
Batty Saris makes this back to seven points. The lead for Indiana, 22-15. Three points away from tying this up, 1-1. Tatum at the line. Gosnell dug out. Tuninga over to Batenhorst. Hayworth the set. Saris the spike. It's dug up by Livings. Batenhorst a front row attack. Still kept alive. Back set Hayworth to Saris. Kept up Batenhorst. Good diving dig by Alonzo Corsellis. Pass for Saris. It finds a floor. It was tipped at the net, but it's a point for IU nonetheless. IU is just coming out on top. It seems like they just won it more late in this second set. Selling out completely for every point. Here's Tatum again. And it's an ace. It goes over the top of the net. A little bit of luck never hurt anybody, says Avery Tatum. And it's set point, Indiana. Looking to tie this match up. Everybody on their feet. Tatum at the line again. 24-15. Over the net, dug out Gosnell. Set, Batenhorst. Tatum the dig. Hayworth set, Saris. Kept alive by USC, out of system. Vickers keeps it alive, stuffed at the net. And USC wins the point, they stay alive for the time being. Eight point lead in this set for Indiana. Yeah, this is a long ways to go for USC, I mean. Still set point, there's gonna be, it's probably a, end up being a total of nine set points if my math is correct, which usually it isn't, but we'll go with it. Gala Trubin, her serve. Set by Saris, over for Saris. Good dig by Gosnell. Far side for Batenhorst. That one finds the floor, a good kill for Ali Batenhorst for 11th of the match on, on only one error, hitting 455. If all else fails, rely on Ali Batenhorst to do the job. She's been terrific this afternoon. Set point number three, 24-17. And a service error, Indiana wins the set, it's one to one. Indiana at home against number 20, USC. As both teams will head to the locker room for an extended break of five minutes. What a set. Indiana dominated that one. They win it 25. Still athletic with the right hand. I want to see her get more involved. Maple's going to start us off. Delaney Maple, the former USC Trojan, at least on the beach. Her serve is over the net and we're underway. Like you said, they got it to Livings, but she was denied right at the net for the first point for Indiana. Stuffed and a block for the Hoosiers. Jaden Livings came flying. But Alonso Corsellis yeah. and Ava Vickers were Both there. Both combined, and Vickers is such a physical player. She's undersized for a middle blocker. Standing at six feet, but has a lot of physicality. There's a big kill from Adanya Famwina. And it's 1-1. Ava Vickers as well, a really great vertical. She can get up in the air. And that's why she's a middle blocker outside hitters, because she is so athletic. Livings will be at the service line, the true freshman. As it's a 1-1 game in set number three. 1-1 in this set, 1-1 in the match. Hayworth the set, back set, and just missed the outstretched hands of Ava Vickers. Point for USC. Living's up the line again, the 6'1 freshman from Dallas. Hayworth the set, far side, Alonzo Corsellis chips the block. And it's 2-2. Two -two. Gary at the service line for the Hoosiers. With the left hand, slaps it over. Tuaninga sets up Leah Ford, and she fires it to the floor. And the Trojans have a one-point lead. Substitution's coming in for USC. Indiana really does a good job of staying competitive. And 
Now, it really, if you're USC, it's up for you guys to respond. You guys had a rocky second set. You're on the road in Bloomington trying to stay ranked. Here's Gosnell, far side from Hayworth to Alonzo Corcellas, kept alive, back row attack. Dug out by Maple. Hayworth, middle set, Sell fires it home. And Maddie just... Sell getting fed in the middle. She's playing really well thus far today. Five kills and no errors. That's just disciplines volleyball. I mean, knowing where on the court you're supposed to be, knowing where the pass is heading and executing. And here's Cam Hayworth, already has four aces on the day. Set, Batenhorst leaning back, fires it over. Hayworth for Sell, kept alive. Livings, top down, and Leah Ford finds the kill. As Ford, who played two matches last year, started in one, was hurt, was hurt and used a red shirt. Her dad played basketball at Houston, so she's was a forward at Houston, so that's where her 6'4 height comes from. Serve from Trubit, and it goes straight into the net, side out for the Hoosiers, and it's 4-4. Four four. And that's another one of those unforced errors that you have to cut out in order to win this in the long term. Candela Alonzo Corcellus to serve. Steps into it, bait and horse the dig. Batenhorst gets set on the near side. Kept alive. For Tatum is blocked, but Batenhorst block attempt goes out, and it's a kill for Avery Tatum, who hails from California, transferred from Cincinnati after her freshman year, and has been at IU ever since. And Avery Tatum has not been as involved today, but when she makes an impact, it is heard loud and clear. Unfortunate reception error from Baton Horse, and it's a service ace for Candela Alonzo Corsetis. Her first of the afternoon and 19th of the season. 6-4 in favor of the Hoosiers in this third set. Both teams have won a set. Here in Bloomington, Alonzo Corsetis. Serve gets over. Living's tapped over and a good Little flip over kill by Tyra Ariel. Not the best set from Tuaninga, but it worked in the long run. And Tuaninga will be at, at the line. Mia Tuaninga, who has an ace today. What a dig by Gary, kept up. Hayworth the pass for Saris. Diving dig for Livings, Baton Horst. Attack, Gary has the dig, back set, Hayworth to Tatum, ships the block, and a point for IU. And how about that volley, both sides giving it everything they have on that possession. That was fun to watch. A big dig from Gary on a... Huge hit on the near side pin from Batenhorst, kept it alive, and Indiana was able to win it off of that. Here's Sell at the line. Her serve is over, dug out by Batenhorst. High up into the air, set from Hayworth, back row attack, Alonzo Corcellus. And it was tipped at the net by a USC Trojan, and a kill for Alonzo Corcellus. It's 8-5, Indiana. Indiana up three. They really didn't go up three until a little bit later in set number two. Starting to take charge once again. Tuaninga, a perfect set. And a harsh spike from Ariel ends the run for Indiana. Yeah, Tyra Ariel. Just straight My downwards. Goodness. Steep angle of attack and nothing that Indiana could, yeah, exactly. Nothing that the Hoosiers could do about it and his bait and horse will be at the line. Aiden Horst, the tallest player on the team at six foot five. Hayworth backs it for Tatum. That one's blocked by Fawina and Ariel. They combine for it, and Tatum's attack gets blocked at the net. A 
And the blocking prowess. Indiana has five blocks today to USC's two. Low pass, Hayworth, another one. That's two in a row as Tyra Ariel has a second consecutive block. It's eight to eight. And that's what USC does the best, is get blocks and stifle the attackers of the opposing team. We have not seen that as much today, which credits Indiana on, on their offense. Baton Horse dug out by Alonzo Corcellus. Tatum the swing, Tatum the kill. Yeah, I mean, she is so impressive with the right hand. So much power between every the shot. The face killer. The angle she shoots from, it's just so difficult to stop her. I mean, opposite, she can swing with both hands and has a lot of skill to swing at that opposite position. Her serve is over, it hits off the face of Ariel and it's a point and a service ace for Avery Tatum. Just came off the arm of one of USC's players wrong. Avery Tatum's 23rd service ace of the season. First of the day. 10-8 for IU. 1-1 one, one in sets. That one barely gets over. It touches the top of the net. Second of the day, actually. Two and Inga. Good dig by Gary. Hayworth, the set. Saris, the kill, a whistle. And a net violation. So a good swing from Saris, but got called for a net violation. And it's USC serves. 10-9 in favor of Indiana. At the line is Tyra Ariel. Slaps it over, a float serve, back set, Hayworth, Vickers, the swing, kept alive by USC, far side for Livings, blocked at the net, and almost kept alive, but it's a block nonetheless. 11-9 the lead for Indiana. Ava Vickers. She can she jump out come, the roof. She has come on strong in this third set. 16 blocks for Indiana, three for USC, and Indiana really has just flipped the scripts. And now one of Indiana's better servers at the baseline, Delaney Maple. Top spin serve, good moving dig from Trubin. Swing dug out by Gary. Hayworth the pass, Alonzo Corcellus. Kept alive by the Trojans. Tuaninga near side. That one finds the floor as Adanya Famuina gets the kill. 11-10 the lead for Indiana. And USC after this media timeout, it'll be interesting to see if they can find that spark, that rhythm they had in that first set where they controlled the tempo and really dictated the pace. And from that point on, Indiana has thorn back. Here's Livings. Throws it to Alonzo Corcellus. Hayward tries to play on a system. Kept alive by Vickers. Tapped over by Alonzo Corcellus. Near side stuffed by Vickers. Tapped over. Ilawole the dig. The overpass. And USC wins an exciting point. 11-11. That point was exciting. Leah Ford. A rebound going right back to her twice in a row. And she puts it down to tie it. And what a dig by Shade Ilawole to keep that one alive for Indiana after, after a huge swing from Ford. And as again, it's Livings at the line for the Trojans. Diving dig, barely kept up, but it goes into the stands as it went off the side of Gary's fist. Hayworth had quick reactions, but couldn't get a good pass on it. And USC, and USC taking, takes the lead, that's right. I believe that's the first lead of the third set. Could be wrong. But Their first lead in a while as well as they lost the second set by seven points. Eight points, excuse me. Dug out Maple. Hayworth for Alonzo Corcellus. That one's stuffed at the net. And Mia Tuininga is fired up as she finds the block. And here's the USC that has showed up all season. It's being aggressive and meeting them at the net. They're starting to do that and find that more and more as it progresses. A 4 nothing run at the service line for Jaden Livings. That one goes out. Run gets but broken. It's 13-12 in favor of the Trojans. While they're finding their aggressiveness back and the rhythm back, it's those unforced errors that continue to linger on, Andrew. That's the 11th service error of the day for the Trojans. Compared to only, uh, excuse me, the 12th. Compared to only six for Indiana. Here's Gary at the service line. She'll fire this one over. To an inning of the set. Tapped over by Famuina. 
Far side, Alonzo Corcellus swings that one into USC's bench, and there's an attacking error from Alonzo Corcellus. 14-12 for the Trojans. As Greg Osnell checks in to serve. If USC can go up three by the media timeout, that would be huge. They're up two right now. Here's Gosnell. Wax it over. Alonzo Corcellus. Hayworth back to Corcellus, kept up by Batenhorst. Tipped over. And a campfire kill is a couple of Hoosiers go for it. And that takes us to the media timeout. Like you said, USC up 15 to 12. They've got a three-point lead in the third set. And so we'll be right back in a minute and a half here on Big Ten Plus. USC and Indiana don't go anywhere. Thrilling match thus far. the media timeout, USC ahead in this third set in Wilkinson Hall on a beautiful Sunday afternoon in Bloomington, Indiana. Andrew Hillsman on the mic, along with Charlie Harris. Three-point lead for the Trojans as the number 20 team in the land tries to win this third set and make it a 2-1 game here in Bloomington. Charlie, it's been a really fun one to watch this far. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. This game this match overall just going back and forth, back and forth, and USC a slight edge midway through set number three. Gosnell will get us started again as it goes straight to Maple in the center. Sell taps it over to Aninga. Back row attack, that one goes out. As Livings couldn't get a clean swing on it. And a side out for Indiana. And here comes Cam Hayworth to the line. Again, four aces. She had three in a row in the second set. She's had a great day at the service line, and here she is again. IU trails by two, and that's what we call the announcer jinx, Charlie, is there's a service error from Cam Hayworth. Quite literally, yes. It, it does exist. I saw it it's, firsthand. It's real, I tell you. And the famed cockroach costumes are out oh for, my the, for the Crimson Guard. There's a story about that that Coach Aird told us earlier in the year. Back set Tatum, that one's blocked and it finds the floor for USC. USC, that front line, the middle blockers getting activated, getting going, and really making a difference, keeping this lead of four. But the cockroaches in the student section. We'll, we'll, we'll tell that story in a minute. That, that'll, be a, that'll be a timeout story, because it has some setup. Dug out by Alonzo Corcellus. Hayworth, far side set, stuffed again by yep. USC. Yep. And US Mia Tuninga at the net again, making a difference. USC and a timeout for Steve Ayer. Playing their brand of volleyball. A lot more physical in this set. Now they're up five. Yeah, 18-13. And like I said, we've got a minute and 20 seconds before we're back underway. We'll tell the Cocker story. If my, if my memory serves me correctly, Coach Steve Ayer, we were talking to him in, in media availability earlier this season and, and before Wilkinson Hall was built. I think it was in 2018 or 2019 yep. that, that Wilkinson Hall was built. This beautiful facility. 2019, yep. I think there was, in, in the old facility that IU played at, I think there was may, maybe a roach problem in Ayer's office. So I guess they're making lighthearted fun of it. And uh -huh. this is something that the, you know, the, the student section has developed. And, and one of the more fun things that's come out of this season at least, during the Cream and Crimson scrimmage at the start of the year, Coach Ayer took the mic and, and said to the students that were here, said, hey, 
I'm going to donate some money every challenge I win to one youth so you can have a pizza party at the end of the year and two to a local food bank to help out those in need. So pretty cool from Steve Aird and I don't know what the tally's at right now but ha they've had plenty of matches at home and, and, and a good cause and, and yeah. Aird obviously wanting to reward the students who come out each home match to support his squad. This is so amazing when you have a head coach and a program that connects with the students going to your games and connects with the Bloomington community in general. And this is an Indiana program that is on the rise. They're getting better and better. They're growing year by year. They have one of the top recruiting classes, not even just in the Big Ten, in the country coming in yeah. these next couple of years. And it's just special to see this volleyball program excel to the level it's getting at. And they're able to compete with the best teams in the nation. They play number one Texas. And obviously the Big Ten is the best there is. Here's Leah Ford, back pass. Good diving dig by USC. Batenhorst, the swing, couldn't get a good hand on it. Hayworth, back set for Alonzo Corcellus. Kept alive by Ford. Batenhorst tips it down, and a point for the Trojans. It's a 19-13 lead here in this third set. Yeah, really this whole set, Ali Batenhorst doing a great job of continuing to attack. Here's Ford, slaps it over. Gary can't receive it cleanly. An ace for Leah Ford. Had some spin on it, that one sure did. And Indiana calls another timeout. A much needed one, the momentum heading back to the Trojans' favor. Yeah, 5-0, five 5-0 five scoring run right now. Yeah, 5-0 run and USC doing what they do best. And we talked about it at the beginning of this game where they're one of the best teams in the nation at blocks. They make a living off of it. They're aggressive, they're tall, and they play their own brand of volleyball. They're starting to get to that level in set number three. I feel like in those first two sets, while USC went up 1-0 in set number one, Indiana was able to respond and really dictate the pace for a moment, but this set, number three, man, it's been all USC, and they're five points away from taking a commanding 2-1 set lead. Well, that block game has really started to, to get going for, for USC in this third set. I mean, Indiana still leads in block six to five, but in this set in particular, that has been, that's been what's propelled USC to go up seven. It's been that aggressiveness at the net. Yeah, look at the stats and, and, and USC out killing IU 39 to 30 and IU struggling with attack errors. They've got 13 right now. USC as a team hitting 337. So a 337 hitting percentage, pretty good. Always striving for, for more are the Trojans, but how about uh, that a great attacking team, man. team? Yeah, man, they're look at them. They're having a good time, and look. honestly, so are we up here. Yeah, it's a fun day, man. Fun weekend in IU athletics. This is kind of the cap to all of it. Ford, the serve, fires it in the net, and a side out for IU. 20 to 14. As the Hoosiers has got to make a run. We've got Alonzo Corcellus at the line to try and help him out. Nice way to respond after the timeout, getting a point on the board, ease the tension a little bit. Here's Alonzo Corcellus. Bait and horse to dig. Tuaninga. Middle set. Gary can't dig it out of the ground. And another point as here comes Mia Tuaninga at the service line. USC's best serving player. Preseason all-conference team. It's the younger sister of the Long Beach State Men's National Player of the Year, Josh Tuaninga. That's a volleyball family. Net violation called on Cam Hayworth. And a point for USC. Indiana loses his team. An eight-point lead, 22-14 for USC. Here's Tuaninga again. Whacks it over. Man, Alonzo Corcellus serve. keeps it in control. Tatum swings blocked but kept alive. And it went over the head of Maddie Sell. An unforced error by Cam Hayworth, and it's 23-14. Yeah, those are far. Few and far between yes. from Hayworth. Here's Tuaninga again. Throws it up in the air. Gary the dig. 
Hayworth back set. Tatum swing. Good dig by Trubin. Batenhorst tries to pop this one over. It goes off the hand of Tatum and out of bounds. Set point USC. And Avery Tatum frustrated after that. She had a chance to go up and block that at the net. Just a millisecond too late. And the points for USC set point. With a 10-point lead, Indiana has a lot to do if they want to win this third set. To Inga, fires this one out, and it goes into the stands. Almost knocks over a box of popcorn, and a point knocked for IU. over a fan in the stands. Yeah, that too. Yeah, looks like about 80 miles an hour. Yeah, it was it was quick. Here's Maddie Sell at the line. Can't can't afford an error, as it's still set point for USC. Set point number two. That one is dug out by Batenhorst. To Inga, the six. And the end of the third set as USC takes this one, 25-15. One more set to go for the Trust Off, serving in this fourth set. If we get to that fifth set, it'll be first to 15 instead of the standard first to 25. Underway, Hayworth back set for Tatum, spike kill. A great point for IU. Able to get on the board, take a breath of fresh air for the time being. And Alonzo Corcellus at the line now. 1-0 Hoosiers. They trail by one set. And dug out by Trubent. Back row attack. Batenhorst misses her mark. And it sails long. Batenhorst, way too much on that. Looks like she was trying to hit one of the cockroaches in the student section. I think bug spray and maybe some roach killer would be would be more effective than a volleyball, but a, a, I mean, a, really, a, an odd error there from USC. It's a point for IU, yeah. and, and it's listed as a service ace for Alonzo Corsellis. Well, there it is. They, I mean, there was really a lot of struggle to, to, to get that ball in the air, maybe some miscommunication on, on USC's part. Here comes Alonzo Corsalis again. Clean dig by Livings. Set for Batenhorst again, and Gary can't corral it. Good catch by somebody in the student section, but nonetheless, it's a point for USC. 3-1 the score in the second, or in the fourth set. And Indiana kind of finding themselves with their backs against the wall. And it's do or die in this set, that's for sure. Jaden Livings, the freshman at the line. And she'll have the first serve. Kneeling dig by Saris. Tatum a swing. Good dig by Batenhorst. Stuffed, but a kill nonetheless for Fromlina as she chips the block. Adanya Fromlina, who's a redshirt sophomore, opposite hitter, six foot one, didn't play last year, had 13 kills in the loss at Illinois and three blocks. It's a top 10 prospect coming out of high school. Livings goes straight to sell. Hayworth the set. Flipped over the net by Alonzo Porcellus. To an Inga tried to play out a system, but Maddie Sarah, or it was Sarah or Sell had the block. Couldn't catch this one, but it's a point for Indiana. They'll give it to Maddie Sarah. a solo block as she tipped it over the net. 4-2 Indiana as Sell is at the service line. And a swing that goes long. Leah Ford couldn't find her mark. And that was Leah Ford who couldn't really get her feet set. She was gliding to her right, and that shot just barely out of bounds. 5-2 advantage for IU. Sell throws a floater that barely goes over the net, kept up by Tuaninga. Still a kill, a back row attack from Fromwina. It was tipped at the net, but went out of bounds. And a point for USC. 5-3 the lead for Indiana in this fourth set. And Gray Gosnell will check in for USC. We mentioned sung the national anthem today. Played four years at IU in her first game back in Bloomington. And she smells blood in the water. At the service line is Gosnell. Floater goes over. Alonzo Corcellus. Tatum. Tried to swing it through, but Batenhorst said absolutely not at the net. And there's those blocks that are proving to be more meaningful and meaningful. They average about three blocks per set. And they're at six right now, so below that average, but 
Gosnell, good tough dig by Saris. Pass from Gary back to Saris. Blocked to an empty part of the floor. And USC takes another point. It's 5 5. After Indiana went up 3 0. Gosnell again. It's a 3 0 scoring run for USC as they lead 2 1 in sets. Floater goes over. Saris has trouble with the pass. Alonzo Corsellis throws it to Saris. She throws it up. And Trubin gets it away. Batenhorst dug out by Gary. Great Lots dig. of spin. Here comes Saris. Tips it through. It's on the ground. Maddie Saris. Her sixth kill of the game. And it's 6-5 as Indiana breaks the run. And that dig from Ramsey Gary was phenomenal. Well, Gary, who played on Team USA, the U21 team over the summer, took a lot of what she learned and is applying it this season. Here's Tatum's serve. Floater goes to Gosnell. Short set, stuff. Gosnell keeps it up. Pass from Tuaninga. Batenhorst, the swing. A short one. Hayworth, fart, near side set. Kept up by Saris. Over to Vickers. Good dig by Gary. Saris an attack. Kept alive by USC. Tuaninga, Batenhorst finds the floor. A back and forth chaotic rally ends in a USC kill. Man, that incredible rally. Both of these teams won it so badly. And USC just barely squeezing out that point. Batenhorst rewarded with the kill. She's got 16. Here's Leah Ford. At the service line, 6-6, a tie in this fourth set. Hayworth falling backwards, a set across the court. Gets rejected yep. by Tyra Ariel, and she says, that's too easy for me. And the kill, or I should say the block party. Make it eight on the day for USC. Starting to come alive for USC. That height, that experience starting to show. Well, Ford serve goes long, and that's the 15th service error on the day for the USC. 7-7 in the fourth set as Maple goes to the service. Correct. Now, if USC hangs on and wins this match, the learning point from this will be the service errors. You 100%. can't have this many service errors and expect to win in the NCAA tournament down the road. Maple, good dig by Batenhorst, overpass. Ilawole, Hayworth. For Alonzo Corcellus, kept up. Tuning a far side set. Batenhorst finds the floor. And a kill for the former In Nebraska Cornhusker. That's her 17th of the match. We're really starting to see Mia Tuaninga and Ali Batenhorst find that connection, find that rhythm. They're clicking. The, the body language on the two of them is really fun to watch after all of those points. Here's Tuaninga. Fires it into the net. A 16th service error for USC and side out for Indiana. It's eight all in the fourth set. A prime example of those service eight errors keeping Indiana in the game. Gary the serves. Batenhorst, Doug, back set. Back for Batenhorst, kept alive. Gosnell throws it. Collision at the net. Maple whacks it over, it's stuffed, still kept up in a double hit. Hayworth had to hit it twice in a row, and that's a violation. Point goes to USC. The block party, man. That's the ninth for USC. They now lead Indiana by two blocks, nine to seven. Nine, eight, USC, they're serving. Maple the dig, Hayworth back set. Sell the swing, kept up. Tuning a back set. And that one barely finds the floor. Good swing from Living is on a kick. <laughs> the flip sides of the court. 10-8 lead for USC as Batenhorst has the serve. Hayworth for Alonzo Corcellus. Tuning of the dig. Diving dig from Ila Wole. Free ball over. Set to the middle and goes straight, whizzing by the head of Gary. 11 to 8 lead the USC lead. <laughs> 
Dug out Maple. Hayworth the set. Alonzo Corcellis kept in by Tuaninga. Here comes Livings. That one's out of play. Goes too far wide right. And a point for Indiana. 11 to 9, the USC lead. Hayworth, a big serve, overpass. Middle set, goes far side, Tater McHill. And she's fired up as the rest of the Hoosiers are as well. Hayworth to the line, trying to erase a one point deficit. Avery Tatum, that kill just her fourth of the afternoon. They will rely on her as much as they can. Here's Hayworth again, goes straight to Trubent. Far side, diving is Hayworth and Gary. They couldn't find the ball before it hit the wood. And then now back to a two-point lead for USC. At the line is Tyra Ariel. Knocks it over, Gary the receive. Diving dig from Batenhorst, goes far side, kept alive, what a dig by Alonzo Corcellis. Up for Maple, she fires it, dug out by Tuaninga. Far side set, Famwina kept alive. Gary, Hayworth, Sell, down to the floor, it's kept alive, rally still goes. Hayworth, back set, Tatum, kill. Avery Tatum puts it in to an endless point as the deficit goes back to one, 12-11 in favor of the Trojans. What a point and what a swing from Tatum. And that rally was fantastic. Gosh, such exciting volleyball and USC so close to getting that point. Alonzo Corcellis, Trubin has a little bit of trouble with it. Back row attack, Batenhorst. That one was close, but it found the floor. Does Aird want to challenge that? I don't Mike? think so. I think he had a good enough view at it. It was so tough for us to see because yeah. Batenhorst hits the ball so hard. 13-11, the USC lead. Living's at the line. She'll be the one to serve from the near side. Gary. Good dig for Saris, kept alive. To Inga, back row attack. Excellent dig by Alonzo Corcellis, overpass. To Inga set. Trubin over far side to Famwina. What a dig from <laughs> Alonzo Corcellis. Outstretched hands, still alive. Hayworth, Gary, Tatum finds the floor. Avery Tatum, another kill. What an effort. From the opposite hitter, Avery Tatum. Avery Tatum coming alive at the right time. She's got eight kills and eight digs. Two blocks as well. Luca Fickle's gonna come into the game in favor of Maddie Sell to serve. Fickle usually the second choice center behind Hayworth and, and, and a good server. So Aird wants to keep, keep the momentum going. Only down by one, a float serve. To an Inga, set, back row attack, dug out. Alonzo Corcellis, Hayworth to Saris, one hand dig, Batenhorst. Out of system play, tapped at the net. Living, stuffed away. Out of system, dug out by Hayworth, kept alive. Here's Saris, finds the floor, Let Fickle finds the floor. Luca Fickle. What a play. And you can really see this IU team come alive. They are battling every single me, possession. It, it was, Saris, I, I got him mixed up, but uh, nonetheless, Indiana finds the floor. What a beautiful play. Fickle at the line again. Knocks it over. Middle set, that one cannot be kept alive. Matty Saris, an excellent kill again. And a good, good response from USC. Yeah, stop the run as Fickle will take a seat. Gary comes back in. Gosnell to serve as USC ahead by one. It's 14-13 in this fourth set. <laughs> 
Float serve, dug out by Saris. Hayworth finds Vickers! Ava Vickers gets a quick set from Hayworth and ends the point as fast as it began. Slide out for Indiana. 14-14 the score in the fourth set. This thing's coming down to the wire in the fourth set. Tatum at the service strike. Knocks it over, Gosnell. An awkward receive, Batenhorst. An excellent kill. Her 19th. She's on fire today. Only two errors as well on 41 swings. And that's the media timeout. Charlie, I, I don't want to take a break, but we're going to have to as a minute and a half of a break. This set has just lived up to everyone's expectations. Indiana with their backs to the wall, only down by one point. But if USC takes this set, it's game over. And the Trojans will pick up a win. 15-14 in set four. We'll be right back in under a minute here on Big Ten Plus. Here at Wilkinson Hall, a one-point set. And as we come out of the media timeout, everybody on their feet here at Wilkinson Hall, it's an electric atmosphere in Bloomington. 15-14 the score. And this just speaks to the Big Ten overall. The level of competition is incredible. It's competitive. And no point is given to you. Here's Leah Ford. And a service uh, error. Except set. that one. Well, uh, right. And that is, by my, yeah, 17th service error for USC. They've really struggled at the line today. They really have. And I remember Steve Aird, he once told me, a service error is kind of like a free throw. It's, it's, it's a missed free throw. Right. It's so easy, so simple. It's just you and the ball. And yet you still struggle with them. Maple barely misses that one. Goes wide left. So back-to-back -back service errors for both of these teams. 16-15 in favor of the women of Troy. The back-to-back -back service errors, the one-handed USC, a narrow 16-15 lead. And here's Mia Tuaninga. Another service error, make it three in a row. The ball, is just, there must be a magnet in the net that's just attracting the volleyball to it because we've seen a combined. That's, that's 19. 20, yeah, 26 service errors in this game combined. 19 uh, against USC. Ina Wole can't keep that one in the air, and it's a kill for USC, 17-16. Big swing from... I believe it was Livings who found the floor there. And it was Tyra Ariel. Here's the serve from Batenhorst. Maple the day. Alonzo Corcellis. That's in. Candy Corcellis. What a kill from the Spaniard. This Ties is the setup again at 17. Alonzo Corcellis, 10 kills. This has been the most back and forth set. I think I've seen in a long time. Hayworth a lot of lead at changes. the line. Dug out Batenhorst, back set, out of bounds. Point Indiana, 18-17, their first lead in a while. And Hayworth at the line, in search of her fifth ace of the match. Hayworth ready to go. Fires it over, bait and horse to dig. Kept in the middle. What thought just there happened? Was a, I thought there was a whistle in the middle of the play, but there wasn't. 
And I don't know, Steve Ayer's gonna have a discussion. I, I, I heard some sort of squeak, or maybe, maybe it was a shoe squeaked on the floor, but miscommunication nonetheless. And I think they might look into this I, one. I don't know. I, Matty Sell is saying, no, let's just play on it, but it's 18-18, nonetheless. Ariel to serve for the USC Trojans. Right-handed float serve, kept alive by Corsellas. Back set, Alonzo Corsellas tipped. Big swing, barely kept up. Maple, Man. Maple again the dig. Pass, free ball upcoming for USC, whacked over. To an of the set. Again, Maple tried to keep it alive. Hayworth tried to do it with her, couldn't do it for three hits in a row. 1918, the USC lead. Delaney Maple, so much intensity. Well, that's that's her, oh, her beach man. volleyball instincts coming through. Cause yeah. in, on the beach, there's only two of you, so you're, you're gonna get a lot of attempts at, at, at receives back to back. 1918, Ariel still at the line. Tatum on the slide, back set. Barely kept alive by Batenhorst. Free ball over. Maple goes in front of Gary to get it. Tatum swing, Tatum kill. Batenhorst was out of position for USC. A little too far back, and Avery Tatum finding the open space to tie it up once again. 19-19 apiece. Tatum's 10th kill of the day on 23 attempts. Alonzo Corsellis and Tatum both have over 10 kills. Alonzo Corsellis to serve. Big swing, oh big dig from Gary. Hayworth, back set. Saris, kept alive. Three ball for Indiana. Alonzo Corsellis, back set. Tatum, still on Indiana's side. Livings keeps it up. To Inga, set for Famuina. Farm Saris, the swing, that one's in. Saris paints the corner. And Indiana takes a 20 to 19 lead here in the fourth set. This is one heck of a response from Indiana. They are competing at every point, every serve, like their life depends on it. The pancake dig, keeping plays alive, keeping rallies going. Indiana is a different looking team in the fourth set. And USC, despite all the service errors, despite all the unforced well, mistakes, are still right in this thing, trying well, to close the door. Charlie, we're gonna have a, a pause for a second as Brad Keller wants to challenge the call on the floor. He doesn't think that Matty Saris's swing was in bounds. And it, it, from up here, it was so fast that it's tough for us to tell. Yeah. But why not challenge it at this point? You get a timeout out of it. Yeah, I you mean. You have something to burn. The, I would, I support this challenge because it first of all gives momentum to Indiana, it allows the crowd to get back into it. And if you have a challenge to burn, you already have the lead, you might as well use it. When you find a close call, yeah, sure, burn a challenge on it. Well, we'll await the decision. We'll see what it's going to be. As it looks like they've reviewed this one. Whistle into the decision. Indiana wins the point. Call on the, call on the court stands. Maddie Saris finds a kill, and it's 20 to 19 in favor of Indiana. It is loud in here, Charlie. It is I loud. I can barely hear myself talk. Feels like assembly hall. But no, it's Wilkinson. Alonzo Corsellas gets us going after the challenge. Batenhorst, dig to Inga, back to Batenhorst. Stuffed at the, stuffed at the net, Maddie Sell. Sell's fourth block of the game. And another timeout. And now the crowd is staying involved. There's no way you can steal the momentum out of Indiana's hands. They're up two, forcing another timeout and on a 3 nothing scoring run is Indiana. A solo block by Matty Sell. What a play. And they are really close to making this anybody's ball game. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back in under a minute here on Big Ten Plus. Don't go anywhere. This could be a thrilling end to this one. 21-19, Indiana leads in set four.
Alfonso Corcellas is the player to serve at the line with Indiana on a 3 0 run right now. Andrew Hillsman with Charlie Harris here to, here to take you the rest of the way. 21 19, the lead for the Hoosiers trying to force a fifth and final set. Tips the top of the net, twinning a back set. Swing and on the ground, Ooh. Alonzo Corcellas couldn't get to it. A ferocious kill from Jaden Livings. I mean, Jaden Livings impresses me with every swing she takes. So much power, I can't stress it enough. I mean, Alonzo Corcellas literally ducked when that thing was coming at her. Mia Tuaninga up to 44 assists on the day, and here's Verbeese to serve. Tatum gets rejected, but it's still alive. Hayworth back set on the slide. Tatum dug out by Batenhorst. Famwina throws it over. Hayworth near side. Saris' swing is rejected by Leah Ford. A big time play ties this set up for the Trojans. And that is a block when USC needed it the most to tie it up at 21 with a chance for the lead. It's those middle blockers that have helped them get to this 20th ranked spot in the nation. Verbeest, who's celebrating her birthday today, is at the serve. Slide from Tatum. That's out. Maybe Steve Aird He's thinking about a timeout. I, I, I don't know if he wants to talk about this one. He, he might think that Tatum chipped the block, but no. No challenge, just a timeout for Steve Aird and company as Tatum's swing couldn't find the the friendly part of the floor. We'll keep it here, Charlie. This, okay. this match has had everything you could ever want. Yeah. Yeah, it has. I mean, and it really starts with Allie Batenhorst of Southern California. 19 kills, 16 digs. That is a healthy double-double. She's been an impact player all over the ball, offense, defense, at the net. Digging it out She's on the, serves. Yeah, the Diggs leader. She's an all-around player. All-around menace for USC leading the way. And as for Indiana, it's been a complete team effort. It hasn't been any one player. You look at some of the stats. Candy Alonso Corcellus, 11 kills, 9 digs. Avery Tatum, 10 kills. Saris, 8 kills. Vickers, 4. It's been a team effort for Indiana. And I think in order for them to stay strong in this fourth set, it's gonna have to be a team effort. Well, Can't be any one player. Well, think about it, especially for USC's side. How different does this match look if they're able to have, like, if they're able to shave off five or six service errors? How different does this match look? I mean, I think it seals the deal. 18 service errors for USC. You cut that number in half, and this thing might already be over. So it's, it's those undisciplined things to still clean up for Brad Keller and this program. But overall, a great performance from USC. You can see the talent on hand. You can see the potential of USC. Such an athletic and strong group on the ropes here in Bloomington. 22-21, the Trojans lead here in the fourth set, trying to close this one out. They're three points away. Megan Verbeest at the service strike. Floats this one over, kept in by Saris. Hayworth sets for Saris. Out of play, tied up at 22. Indiana out of timeouts. They've been really consistent today. And wouldn't this be an incredible end to a exciting week in Hoosier Athletics if this one goes to five sets? Luca Fickle is going to check in for Maddie Sell. Steve Aaron wants to get his best servers on the court, and Fickle's one of them. Fickle in a big moment. Luca Fickle from the far side in that corner right behind her team, right in front of her teammates. <laughs> Throws it over, tips to the top of the net. To an Inga, set, that got blocked. Hayworth for Vickers on top of the net, a roller. Hayworth, back set, Tatum, stuffed, kept alive by Hayworth. Saris, free ball, a little bit of trouble with it. Kept alive, on the ground, Saris keeps My it in. Goodness. Far side, Famwina kept up, and it's finally out of play. Point goes to USC. Just the relentless pursuit of USC, it's inspiring. Hoosiers on their backs, on their back foot, 23-22. USC needs two more points to close out this match. And look who's back serving. Ray Gosnell trying to 
end it against her former team, but we'll have a timeout first. Called by Indiana, that's definitely their last one of the set. And we'll take a break alongside of them. You're watching a thrilling Big Ten volleyball uh, contest between USC and Indiana here on Big Ten Plus. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in under a minute. Almost out of Indiana's timeout. It's head coach Steve Ayers' last timeout. An experienced head coach knows what it's like to coach in these situations. His seventh year at IU, 11th total as a head coach. And what's his game plan here? I think his game plan is get it to Ali Battenhorst out of the timeout. Get it to your playmaker. Get well, it to the person you trust the most to close the door and seal it. But how does Indiana respond? What's their game plan? Play your game. Play conservative. Gotta play just, quick, too. You just gotta go second at a time, literally. All right, 23-22, USC, two points away from taking a thriller here in Bloomington. Gosnell the serve. Saris the dig. Hayworth to Saris, stuffed. It's match point, USC. Oh, man, that a killer. Now for USC, you don't want to be too overzealous. You want to play your game, don't do anything extraordinary. Just find one more point. Gosnell. Trying to end it against her former team. She played four years here in Bloomington. 24-22, Gosnell serves. Barely dug out by Alonzo Corsellis. Tatum swing. Free ball for Indiana. Gary, pass. Hayworth, back set. Tatum, spike, kill. 24-23, Indiana still alive. They'll play another match point. Still fighting. And Tatum to the line. Hoosiers down by one. Need one more point right here to force overtime. Tatum to serve. Over the net it goes. Batenhorst or Grosnell to dig. Blocked at the net. Kept up by Trubin. To Ininga. Far side. Batenhorst still alive. Needs to get it over. They do. It's still kept up. Saras keeps it alive. Hayworth. A swing. Kept alive by USC. Free ball over. Tatum to Hayworth, to Saris, down low, at the net, it's swung low, USC still trying to keep it alive, Batenhorst dug out by Alonzo Corsellis, Hayworth plays out of system, will go to overtime in set four, what a swing Ooh. from Cam Hayworth, it's 24-24. I can't believe Indiana right now. Timeout, Southern California, 24-24. Set Indiana trying to force set five and pull off their seventh ranked win under Steve Ayers' tenure. This is an unbelievable match that you and I are witnessing here, yeah, Charlie. It sure is, Andrew. I mean, this team looks completely different from the first set. Every single point is literally as if their life depends on it. The crowd is in it. They're on their feet singing along. The student section's involved. It's an all-around performance here in Wilkinson Hall. And as for US, USC, they had complete control in that first set and in that third set. But Indiana has responded when it matters most, and we're seeing another example of that right now. I mean, what a point. So many times there was a tussle for it over the net, at the net. Both hands met through the ball. Indiana somehow was able to keep it alive inside of that three-meter line. Hayworth plays out a system. Maybe it was on the third tap. I don't remember exactly, but Hayworth played out a system and 
flung it to the other side. Hayworth, understanding the stakes, understanding the moment. And she did that herself. The senior leader of this group, and she has willed this team's way to a potential set number five. They gotta finish the job. First team, win by two at 24-24, as it was in the first set. To serve is Avery Tatum. And we're underway in overtime. Clears the net, Gosnell the dig. Set to an Inga, bait and horse. Kept alive by Alonzo Corsellis. Far side for Saris. Dug out by Gosnell. Free ball to Indiana. Gary pass. Hayworth set. Saris swing high up into the air again. Here's Batenhorst at the net. Tips it over. Alonzo Corsellis. Hayworth on the slide. Vickers gets stuffed. And it's match point. Batenhorst and Ford combined for the block. Man, I mean, these rallies are getting longer. They're getting more intense. It's now the third match point for USC. As there's some discussion on the far side over by Steve Aird. I don't know what they're discussing, but I don't know if there'll be a review or something, or they just want to get substitutions, or... I think they're finding the right sub. Maybe. They're getting a full defensive unit out. Yeah. They brought in Sade. Yawale, they have Gary out there. It's Paisley Douglas who is gonna serve for the first time in this match, serving for the match, receiving some instructions from one of the assistant coaches for USC. It's match point 25-24 in the fourth set. Indiana needs to win this point to stay alive. Douglas. The serve. Over the net, diving dig by Gary. Hayworth sent Saris. Ilawole keeps it up. Gary, the pass to Saris again. Tipped over, Batenhorst. To Aninga, back to Batenhorst. Diving dig, Gary. Ilawole keeps it up. Saris a swing. USC on the other side. Batenhorst again. Game over. USC does it in four sets. And Ali Batenhorst with her 20th kill of the match is the dagger in the heart of IU. 26-24 in the last set. USC wins 3-1. What a match, Charlie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. You gotta take a deep breath. Hold on. Vijay, yay. Vijay, yay. Vijay, yay. Vijay, yay. Vijay, yay. Vijay, yay. Yo, pai. Yo, ready to like kick when you're here. I'm um, to start, but... Cut up a Pues parida, de tambi parida. Ada. Kadavale, Ajite, Chava, Purra. Hey. Hey, Wangala, Chandala, Pay, Alatu. Yo, 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 
பின்னாடி பாருங்க ஐயோ கேண்டி பீஸ்ட் ஆடிடு ப்ரோ பீஸ்ட் ஆடிடு ப்ரோ நல்லா இருப்பா ப்ரோ சூப்பர் 